Oh, it's got. I attended the first annual Yorkshire uh, Comic Con convention at uh, Sheffield. I was one of the touring around the convention hall. I stopped by a couple of um, retro uh, toy stars, and uh, in it they had a collection of um, old. Uh, the action figures from the 1980s and one of them happened to be Captain Power the Jennifer Chase um, figure which is loosely based on the interactive um, game that became a TV series but it was um, shortly lived licensed by Mattel the licensees for um, Masters of the Universe, the animated um, the serials and the it's that lost uh, um, motion picture toy line to see the only produced three centralized figures which was Blade, Sarad and um, we'll go and no further because Mattel seems to have Falling out uh, to, with um, Canon that was do, doing a film at the, the time. That's why they stopped short of the action figures to go with the film. However, this, this was this a, a cult, the popular status in. The Nomads was um, Captain Power next to uh, the laser tag system and Photon and all sorts of other um, 80s um, exports like um, Brave Star, The Real Ghostbusters which was licensed by um, Kenna and so many other things but years later in 2009, Mattel started licensing uh, the, the film series to go with the, the uh, Ghostbusting franchise, which features um, action figures based on the characters from the films and etc. But uh, this was a rare collectible find. It, it only cost me four pounds due to this bit of um, damage there because they had some price tag there and that was um, split due to whatever because that depreciates the value of the figure but the rest of the card in artwork is still fine and etc but it can but can carefully cut that off there, it's going to ruin the prestige and mm. it will decrease the value even further when it becomes worthless. And it comes with a detailed references and guide to the character Corporal Jennifer Pilot Chase and her stats and the abilities and that. And it comes with a, a, a accessories things like you, so many different ses accessories you can go to the Action figures and that. Some of them are motion sensitive, you can use when you're playing the interactive um, game vision. No doubt. Yeah, this was a great um, find at the convention. I did have the alien ones that was licensed by um, Kenneth because um, Kenneth struck a deal with um, Fox to license the. Uh, Move be directed by James Cameron into a TV cartoon serial in the late 80s, but likewise the troubles with um, Mattel did with um, 
one of Ross and um, Cameron that uh, to, um, kind of uh, run into the same problem had to uh, had to uh, uh, fall out with um, Fox so uh, the cats on serial never happened yet. but each one comes with a, a condensed um, comic book which was um, 16 pages in for each figure. That comes with what accessories like the Parlor, the Alien Queen and so many others and etc. Et but this was the most definitive um, creation of the 1980s was this Captain Parlor regardless to say I never came across it until I seen vintage commercials uh, for for this on the, the YouTube site and etc. And which I'll be adding to the end of the video as a bit of an added bonus just following the video like I usually do with most of my reviews I throw in a little bonus and video on that to tie it all up nicely. But uh, I ain't got nothing very much to go on to say. I never ventured into Captain Power much because I was the Brave Star and the um, He-Man guy and, um, and what not at the time. But I'm sure it's worth uh, venturing by seeing archive clips on that on the internet and that, but it, in a whole it was a great find then this is the uh, Frankie smells for my uh, convention finds of Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future Corporal Pilot Jennifer Chase and I hope you enjoyed the preceding commercial after this uh, feature thank you 21 Jump Street is brought to you by Mattel. Look for the Mattel Toys label at stores everywhere as your assurance of quality and continued innovation all year round. Captain Power has come to TV, and you can be part of it. What are you doing? Aim the Power Jet XT7, fire invisible beams at the television targets, and score. Or be hit. The TV show fires back. No kidding. Captain Power versus Lord Dread. I don't believe it. Believe it, short human. The power of the future is in your hands. Believe it. Captain Power Jet and Figure sold separately. Batteries not included. Now pancakes taste better than ever. Come in! Captain Power is in trouble! Bio Dread! Captain Power, command the Phantom Striker Jet. Batteries not included. And join the fire train. Aim and fire invisible beams at the TV target. Score? Be hit. Jets and figures sold separately. Warning, the TV will fire back. Your Phantom Striker Jet may blow up. Battle against the Power Jet XT7. Without the TV, remember, the power of the future is in your hands. <laughs> Striker score. Interlocker scores. Interlocker? What's that? A new Lord Dread device. I don't believe it. Interlocker zeroes in on a TV target, fires invisible beams, and scores. And keeps score. Or you hit. Interlocker scopes out the XT7. Score. Or hit. The power of the future is in our hands. Will be. Captain Power figures and vehicles sold separately.